What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I've got another swatch review for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos and let's get started. So today I am reviewing none other than the brand new Hollow Taco Unicorn Dream Collection. And I'm actually really excited about this one because it's basically like a part two of the Unicorn Skin Collection, which was one of my favorites that Hollow Taco has done. I have a review, I'll put it up in the cards so you can check that out if you're interested. But yeah, let's talk about Hollow Taco for a second. If you guys haven't heard of them before, they are a nail polish brand created by YouTuber Christine of Simply Nail Logical. They are five free, meaning they are free of five of the dangerous chemicals that are often found in nail polish. They are vegan and they are cruelty free. They are also made and shipped out of the US. I know Christine is from Canada, but these polishes are made and shipped in New York. So yeah, this collection, we've got five brand new nail polishes. Two of them are creams and three of them are iridescent flaky toppers. So I went ahead and did a hugely comprehensive review. So I am showing you guys, of course, the creams, but then I'm going to show you guys each of the three toppers over four different colors. So I'm going to show you guys over the brand new pink and the brand new blue. And then I'm also showing you guys over black and white because they really look different over every single base color. Like whatever base color you put under them is going to determine what those flakies look like on your nail. And I figured we may as well just go all out and see every single possible combination. <laughs> Obviously, I couldn't do every single color that exists, but hopefully Hopefully you kind of get the gist of it based on the ones that I did. So yeah, since we have a lot to go over, we may as well just get started. So roll footage. So as always with my swatch and review videos, I am going to be using base coat underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nail and prevent any stains. Today I am using the Holo Taco Long Lasting Base. So we'll start off with the cream polishes. This first one is called What Do You Pink? And as you can imagine from the name, it is a pink cream. It has a really nice cool base to it, which I think is pretty unique universally flattering and I think it's actually an interesting shade of pink because I wouldn't quite call it a pastel but I also don't think it's a neon I think it's just kind of one of those medium pinky shades it doesn't look like a Pepto-Bismol color at all I think that's due to the really beautiful blue undertone to it and it did give me full coverage in two coats now keep in mind I do have pretty short nails so you might need a third coat with these cream shades but I thought it ended up giving me really good coverage I like this new cream formula a lot. I really enjoyed that wide flat brush. It just made application really easy and smooth and I think the outcome is really great. Next up we have the shade Scientific and this one is the blue cream and this is actually what I am wearing in the intro and outro of this video also with one of the unicorn skin toppers which I'll mention in a minute but this one had really impressive opacity. It was actually pretty much a one coater on me. I think there was still a little bit of of patchiness on my nails but it ended up going away in that second coat but I was just really impressed with how opaque this cream is especially for being a lighter shade like this I just thought it was really easy application again really enjoyed that cream formula and I had a very easy time working it especially with that wide flat brush that just made application so easy both of these shades actually dried to a semi matte kind of finish but I always recommend using top coat regardless so moving on to the unicorn skins here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run through each topper with all four of the base colors that I'm using just so you can see what that application looks like and then I'm going to show you guys a comparison of each of the unicorn skins with all of the colors so you can just kind of see for each unicorn skin what the color range looks like and then all the way at the end I'm going to show you guys all of them together so we got a big old review here but this first one is called Lunar Unicorn Skin and in the bottle it looks like it's sort of an orangey gold kind of color and this one I thought was the most diverse in terms of the color payoff on each of the shades that I'm trying it over so I thought over the pink you could really see a lot of that oranginess to it when I put it over the blue I thought I saw a lot more yellow into green color kind of color, which I thought was a really gorgeous combination. And then over white, I actually saw a lot of pink and blue in there, which this one was actually my favorite to wear over white. Now, generally, I don't love the way that iridescent toppers look over white nail polish, but this one really had such a beautiful tone to it. And it actually reminded me of the colors of the Holo Taco box. So I thought that was really cute. And I thought it ended up looking really nice, but I think the 
real way to showcase these colors the best is to apply them over black. I think that's when you get the most exciting color payoff. So here it is over black and you can see we have a lot of that orangey gold in there. Around the edges it kind of turns into a green and a blue and it almost looks like a multi-chrome flake on the nails when you put it over a darker color. And it doesn't have to just be black. You can also put these types of shades over deeper like purples and blues, that kind of thing. And it really is just a lot of fun to experiment. So here is a comparison of the Lunar Unicorn skin with all of the different base colors. So like I said, you can really see a lot of variance in color here based on how light and what color tone that base color is. So I am gonna be showing you guys a little chart like this for each of the colors. So moving on to the Galactic Unicorn skin and this one in the bottle looks like it is mostly green with a little bit of a pinkiness to it. And I definitely see a lot of that green shine when I'm putting it over the pink base. And you can see this definitely showcases the color pretty well. It makes it a lot lighter. Sometimes when you're working with iridescent toppers, it's hard to see see them over the lighter shades, but I thought these ones actually performed really well over the pink and blue, even though they are lighter colors. This is actually the combo that I am wearing on my nails in the intro and outro, and also still right now. And that is the Galactic Unicorn Skin over Scientific. And I just thought it was really beautiful in summary. Kind of reminded me of like a pool or something. I don't know. I just think it's really cute and tropical. <laughs> and I could really use some warmth right now because it's been super cold in New Jersey lately. And then here it is over the white. And again, I actually found myself really liking the way that it looked over white because you can really see that sort of green and pinky tone to it. And I know it's hard to see and it is also hard to see in real life when you're working with iridescent toppers over white just because it is such a subtle effect, but I thought it ended up looking really beautiful and almost a little opalescent. And here it is over black where you can kind of see that I want to say true color but obviously there's no true color because it changes over whatever you put it on but here you can see that baseline is green and then around the edges it turns into like a turquoisey blue and then into a really beautiful purple shade with little flecks and hints of pink here and there so again super gorgeous kind of has this multi-chrome flake effect when you use it over dark colors and I think that's absolutely gorgeous and then here are all of the bases together with the galactic unicorn skin like I said, this one's a little bit more subtle than the Lunar Unicorn skin, but I do still think you get a lot of range of color here. And then finally, we have the Sonic Unicorn skin. So this one in the bottle looks mostly like blue flakes, but around the edges, there's a little hint of like a yellowiness to it. So I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about this one. I think this one really shines the best over darker colors, but of course I'm showing you guys over each of the colors so you can see. I thought over the pink and especially the the white, it kind of showed a lot more yellowy orange and you really didn't get to see those beautiful blue flakes in there as well. I wasn't sure how it was going to look over blue, but it ended up also being, I think, a little bit too light. Now, I know some people do like this look and that's totally fine. It's up to preference. Honestly, the formula is incredible on these. It's really easy to work with. I love that all of the flakes are kind of irregular and each one looks different. So it almost creates this like, I, I don't know, I keep saying opalescent, but that's that's how I feel like it kind of looks on the nails. So I would say my favorite besides the black, I think the blue looks all right with this. I didn't love it over the pink or the white though. So here it is over the white and you can see it shows a lot more yellow over the white with maybe just little hints of like a whitish silvery blue to it. Looking at it on my nails, I can actually see it almost reminds me of those buttered popcorn jelly belly jelly beans. Overall, I think this color really looks the best over black. That is my personal preference and that's where this color really shines. So you can see we've got this absolutely gorgeous deep blue that leans into a gorgeous purple. There's little hints of gold and green depending on the way that you're moving your nail around but overall it's just such a gorgeous deep look and I think it's so vibrant and jewel toned over deep colors so I definitely love this one. I think the blue iridescent flaky is pretty unique and I think that's super awesome. 
so I'm definitely going to be using this one over a lot of dark shades. So here are all of the different base colors with the Sonic Unicorn Skin Topper and like I said it kind of has a little bit of like a golden yellow vibe over the lighter shades and then over the darker shades you get that really beautiful blue coming through. So before I get into the overall comparison I wanted to give you guys a quick review of the new formulation of Not Milky White. Now I have talked about the white formula in previous videos. I did review it I believe in last year's Unicorn Skins collection and I also mentioned it in my favorite whites video but now we have a reformulated white that has a wide flat brush and I have to say I enjoyed this one a lot more. I really did like the old formula but it was a little bit thicker and more difficult to apply regularly. Personally I enjoy using it for nail art but this one I thought was a lot smoother and creamier and it was still super opaque so definitely love this reformulation. So here is the giant collection of all the swatches that I did for these polishes. So you can see on the right the three going down is all of the creams that I reviewed. Now the white like I said is not a part of this unicorn dream collection. We just have the pink, the blue, and then the three flakies. So just keep that in mind. You do have to get the white separate and then the black I used is the one coat black from Holo Taco as well. So I'll link everything down in the description for you guys but you can see each row is a different type of flaky and you can see how different each flaky performs over each base color. So if you are interested in having a little handy reference guide please feel free to screenshot this. You can check it out and yeah back over to uh, regular face Kelly. <laughs> So yeah, those are the Unicorn Dream Polishes. And honestly, I am totally loving them. As you guys probably know, if you've been watching my channel, I am going through a huge topper phase right now. And I just can't get enough of putting toppers on every manicure. So this set couldn't have come at a better time. I'm very excited to have more unicorn skins for my collection. I was also really excited to see the new wide flat brush. As you guys probably know, I really love the wide flat brush. I'm not a huge fan of a round skinny brush. So that made application a whole lot easier for me, especially with that new formula. It was just overall a huge improvement to the creams of the brand, so really happy about that. So these polishes come in the standard Holo Taco 12 milliliter bottles. The creams retail for $11 USD each, and the flaky toppers retail for $13 USD each, or you can get the box set, which is limited edition, for $60 USD, and that comes with all five polishes. And these are all available on the Holo Taco website website so I will link it down below for you guys so you can check that out if you are interested. But yeah so that's it for my thoughts on the collection but I want to hear from you guys. What do you think of this set? Are you interested in grabbing it or have you already? And which is your favorite of the three new iridescent toppers? Let me know in the comments. We can chat about it. If you enjoy my swatch and review videos please give this one a thumbs up. It lets me know I'm doing a good job and if you're not already subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. And that is it so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Okay, today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Stacy, and Stacy wants to know, are there any weird food combos you like? Yes, absolutely. I feel like there's probably a lot, but the one that comes to mind is something, I don't even think it's that weird, it's just kind of like, like, what are you doing? I really like making, you know those boxes of yellow rice that they sell at the grocery store? I love making that, but then while it's cooking, I'll put a can of tuna fish in it. <laughs> It sounds, it sounds kind of gross and it sounds like, like a really weird pantry meal, but it's actually delicious. And I will say it really got me through like the first half of quarantine because you get all the carbs, you get all the protein from the tuna fish and it's not too bad. It's like a really, really bad version of a paella. <laughs> I also really, really like mixing like savory and sweet things. I think that's really good. I mean, that's not too weird, but like I really love if there's a pasta dish that has like raisins in it or if there's like roasted potatoes, but with like apple in it, like stuff like that. I really love that combo. But yeah, I don't, I don't think that's that weird. I feel like my weirdest thing is probably cooking a can of tuna fish in boxed yellow rice and it's delicious and I highly recommend it. So yeah, that's it. If you guys have any weird food combinations that you think I should try, let me know in the comments and we'll chat about it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!